Hey, Master Gardeners, I'm really in mourning, so I put a, a, a black hat on because the temperatures have fluctuated so much that I've got frost damage on some of my trees and shrubs, and it makes me so sad, especially on this particular tree. I'm going to show you and talk about it. It's got winter damage. It's got this frost damage where my foliage looks like it's wilted right on the tree, and there's like water soaked looking and often the tissue will turn black and it's because the temperatures were warm and my tree was actively growing and then the temperature dropped in the evenings and it's literally literally frozen the cells what happens is the cells just blast out they're full of water and the cells blast open and it pops them just like a water balloon pops and it just totally damages the tissue so when i look close at this tree it does have some normal buds on it which i'm thrilled about but you know you'd expect that on things like camellias my camellia often gets damaged probably you're seeing some damage yourself in your yards or in the hydrangeas you can always expect this to occur on figs figs um the ones the edible figs and uh, even my pyrus which we'll zoom on in in a second every one of the pyrus that i have in my yard commonly known as andromeda they also have a lot of chilling injury on their new foliage that occurred just growing too quick and then zip temperature drops, freeze damage, most of them will recover. So what actions do I take? I'm gonna do nothing for these deciduous trees. When it occurs on my camellia, I usually come in and prune it out. For the foliage that turns this bronzy color, I usually just leave it alone and let that bronzy stuff stay on there because it's still performing photosynthesis. But when I get really damaged things, sometimes this is sun scald on where I pruned it last year after it's winter damage, too much sun and that left patches on the foliage. So that's another thing that can occur. So usually I try to prune out those pieces that are showing symptoms like that. That, that's if you want to prevent it and you know you have a shrub that's tender like a fig or something you can put up burlap around your plants to keep the cold winter wind plant on the east side of your house where it might be less prone to the north side of the winds so prevention don't ever prune your shrubs too late in the summer that stimulates late summer growth that could get frozen off that would be a danger don't fertilize while there's still foliage on the trees and leaves because when you fertilize that and stimulates growth that could easily get freeze damage also. So those are a couple tips. So in general, just the action is to just prune those things out. So what I wanna tell you about though, let me share with you with this pretty awesome tree that I've got here. Th this tree, now we put the little fake flowers on it. Look up here at my fake flowers. It's a breathtaking beauty. And that's your little hint because this is, Davidii in Vulcurata, which is called the dove tree, and it's sometimes called the handkerchief tree. It doesn't bloom until it's about 10 to 15 years old. So I've been waiting patiently for this precious little tree to bloom, and whammo, I get this damage on it, and I'm so upset. So these are little tissues that I put on here just for all of you to enjoy what the flower really looks like. So the flower is a, a lovely little white it's a, I, am, I am weeping about the loss of my foliage because this tree's had more than one problem, but I'm waiting my 10 to 12 to 15 years for these flowers. And I don't know if I'm really ever gonna get there. But anyway, I still wanna share it with you. The name of the tree is the handkerchief tree or the dove tree, we call it. And it's got a fascinating history. Back in the 1800s when the, uh, when botanists were searching through the nations, searching through China, finding new plants, this was discovered by Armin David. Thus, the genus name is Davidii, named after him. But all the seeds that he brought back, only one of them germinated. Therefore, they weren't able to propagate it and spread the tree. So it wasn't till later, until the plant botanist Wilson was able to gather hundreds of seeds, bring them back to Europe, and able to propagate them and spread them. And so today, this, is, this tree is quite the novelty. Any horticulturist is dying to have one of these in their yard. They're just kind of, huh, I can see a little more temperamental than I'd like to believe. And look what else happened to it. I've got buck damage from the first year I planted it. I've got a huge buck scar on here. I know you're weeping too. It sent a sucker in reaction to that scar. So I'm waiting all these years and I'm just hoping that sometime I'm gonna eventually get my my flowers on my tree. Glad I could share my, my sad time with all of you. <laughs>